All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, and and that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Uh, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Uh, Bahashim means in the name Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ And Yahweh Shai means he is the savior He is the deliverer Bahashim in the name Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone Who rule well and taught us this truth And peace and salutations to you Akim That's pushing this word throughout the four corners of broad With truth and sincerity uh, We just two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp Back here with a quick lesson I'm the brother Taza War And we, ha we have a clip here on TikTok That a brother shared uh, on the group chat On the What App And it's uh, very uh, hilarious How uh, you know Esau uses his deception to, to, to deceive the masses You know And what we do Once we see information We're supposed to uh, filter it Through the scriptures And pretty much dissect it You know And uh and they're pushing well this video we're going to play it in, uh, momentarily it's uh, i guess how the mormons really believe that uh, the so-called negroes latino native americans they have that black skin it's a curse onto them because they're the, the seeds of satan or lucifer but it just proves that you know that the mormons their gospel or, or their uh philosophy is wicked it's off it's of satan you know and uh don't and we we here to warn our people don't get uh, uh, discouraged or caught up into these lies, man. You know, having dark skin and woolly hair is a blessing. It's beautiful unto the Lord. You yeah. know, because our Lord uh, and Savior uh, and our power, Yahweh uh, and, and Yahweh Shai, they are dark skinned men with woolly hair, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're here to just pretty much break break the strongholds that Esau Edom has pushed throughout the world and through on our people. So. Uh, we're going to play this video and then we're going to bring out scriptures and we pray everything was edifying, man. Thus Lucifer became the devil and his followers the demons. Sent to this world, they would forever be denied bodies of flesh and bone. Those who remained neutral in the battle were cursed to be born with black skin. This is the Mormon explanation for the Negro race. The spirits that fought most valiantly against Lucifer would be born into Mormon families on planet Earth. These would be the lighter-skinned people, or white and delightsome, as the Book of Mormon describes them. Early Mormon prophets taught that Elohim and one of his goddess wives came to Earth as Adam and Eve to start the human race. Thousands of years later, Elohim, in human form once again, journeyed to Earth from the starbase Kola, this time to have sex with the Virgin Mary. Yeah, so we just seen a quick little clip from TikTok. Hey, man, it just proves that they, these Mormons, uh, prophets, man, they're false prophets, man. They ain't got the truth. You know, they're they're that's they're pushing deception and lie. You know, they thinking they believe that uh, fair skin, blonde hair, and blue eye is like the brother mentions the st the standard of beauty. You know, which is completely off. You know, you can constantly see whether it's in these movies, these models, or swimsuit editions, or videos. They really push that um, a, 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 a blonde hair, fair skin, blue eye is the uh, the the creme de la creme of beauty, and it's actually a curse upon them according to the scriptures. So we're here to again to say, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whether you are very dark with that woolly hair, black hair. Hey, man, that's beauty. That's the true beauty to the Lord, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because our power, Yahweh, they are melanated, melanated being. You know what I'm saying? That's melanated right. Melanated being. So, pretty much, the, the creator of heaven and earth, man, have pigmentation, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And he created his people to have pigmentation. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be to be a, a dark skin, you know, woolly hair, man. Because our savior, Yahweh Shai, that's how he looked, man. That's right. And yeah. you want to get that real quick on um, Marvel? Don't Marvel? Marvel not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. He saw through his media, he's pretty much uh, flipped the script, man. In all life, right now, being uh, being uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's the, the state of beauty, right? But 
in, in actuality, that's a curse, man. That's right. That's just proves this is this is just another uh, 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 example of why uh, these guys are the devils, the deceiver, their lying tongue, man. Oh. These guys are, are are the wicked. They're the ones that's actually cursed. You know, the Bible talks about the Lord gonna put curses on the Israelites. We as a nation, we're cursed because we couldn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But the Lord is removing the curses off us. It's not because we how we look. It's just the conditioning that we put in because we couldn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But the, the Lord actually has created a cursed people, and they're the wicked, and they come from the line of Esau, Edom, man. And those are the so-called white, the so-called white nation. Uh -huh. You got some. Uh, Second Corinthians eleven verse fourteen, in marvel, in, in no marvel, for sin himself is transformed into an angel of light, and that's exactly what Esau have done, man. He's pretty much using his media to portray to paint the so-called black man as the worst thing ever, man. That's right. As a, he, that's exactly what Christopher Columbus used as a justification for the mistreatment of the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans to take over the, the world, man. That's right. They pushed the, uh, the uh, white supremacy, man. That's uh, right. Uh, Edomite supremacy, you know, having a uh, 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 blow, uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's the the standard of beauty. That's madness, man. Yeah, and it starts with that image of their so-called, quote-unquote, Jesus Christ, man, you know. We know according to the scriptures, we can get it, uh, Lord willing, in Revelations, the first chapter, John the Revelator has seen the depiction of our Lord and Savior. And it doesn't describe him as the image that's been plastered throughout the four corners abroad of this world and in the, on these churches or even in Hollywood, you know, as a, a so-called white guy, you know, with long stringy hair and blue eyes. That's again, that's Satan. That's the devil, man. And we're going to go into the law uh, of of. Why this is a curse, man? It's actually having uh, yellow hair and so-called fair skin and and blue eyes. That's actually a plague, and it's and, it's, and we're gonna get into it. Yeah, yeah. We know we know we have all people that look like the so-called white men. Ultimately, when once the Howie comes back, they're gonna get the the true uh, pigment pigmentation. You know what I'm saying that's right. You know? Yeah, because if I may add, our people are being manipulated again. What they see in Hollywood, what they see in the movies, or they see in the uh, music videos. You know, uh, what they see in the media uh, in general, man, uh, women always constantly, when I say our women, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American women, they want to blonde their hair. They, whether they're dark, they feel like they want to bleach their skin so they can fit in. You know, they that's all they, our people are, are, are being destroyed to trying to be like their oppressors, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying, right? So you have all people that look like so called white men because we know all the curses, like, we're gonna be scattered among all nations, right? So we're gonna yeah. have all people that's gonna look like like a, a, a so called white people. But ultimately, for truth's sake, the truth must be told, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not for you to, it's not for us to shame you. It's pretty much for the truth's sake. Eventually, you're gonna get your pigmentation back or you're gonna look like a, a typical Hebrew Israelite once the Hawaii Shai comes back, man. Yeah, you know? the scripture says, you know, well, well, uh, um, my people are like a uh, a speckled, a speckled bird. bird, meaning mm -hmm. we have different flavor, different shades of brown, yeah, man. Right. So when 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 the kingdom, when the Lord comes back and establishes the kingdom again, we're gonna go back to our hue, back to our woolly hair, you know. That's right. But we're gonna go into the to the law, you know, oh. and why that 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 clip is um, contrary to actually the scriptures. It's blasphemy, right? Yeah, it's blasphemy. Come. Uh, Leviticus thirteen verse twenty nine. Come. Uh, for men or women have a plague upon the head. Or the beard, then the priest shall see the plagues, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry skull, even a lep even a leprosy, upon the upon the head or beard. Yeah, and that's important. It's a plague. You know, it says uh, yellow thin hair, which is the priest will pronounce him or her unclean and and, and it's called leprosy, man. You sure. know, so this is not a, a, a blessing, according to you Mormons, or to, according to the clip that we just seen from TikTok. That's actually a curse. Mm -hmm. But again, they're using that reverse psychology. They want Esau wants to be the chosen so bad that they will actually have to manipulate through their witchcraft, through their uh, uh you know, do their resources to pretty much push the narrative that hey, blonde and, and fair skin, we're the we're we're the chosen, we're the best. But ultimately, 
it's it's a blasphemy to the heavenly Father, man. And this is one of the main reasons, right yeah. here, man. It's a leprosy. That's right. So Esau, the whole nation of Esau, Edom is a is clean, a clean leper. leper, man. That's right. And this is going to Salakia. This is going to those that were dark skinned meaning these were dark skinned people that the Lord plagued them with with yellow thin hair or, or, or skin that was paling up. They was getting pale, God. you know. And it says, uh, and if the priest look on the plague of the skull, mm -hmm. and behold, if it be if it be not inside deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it, then the priest shall shut shut up him that had the plague of the skull seven days. See, so the priest would notice your original color was black. You know what I'm saying? But if he noticed there's no black hair, and now you got this yellow hair. You you you're, you're you're unclean and you will have to be removed outside, whether the temple, whether the household. You'll become clean for seven days, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty much they're gonna put you into quarantine, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ancient time quarantine. quarantine yeah, hey, come, because, come. because you you don't you don't look like everybody else, man. That's you, right. You abnormal, you know what I'm saying? Much. Something is wrong with you, so we have to put you away for a while until you get your pigmentation back. And man. that's an, another example how we know the uh, the. The people in the ancient world, the original color were dark skin, dark, different shades of brown, man. That's the original, like, you know, Jake say, and in, in, even with not with our knowledge of the scriptures, they say, oh, black, the black man is the original man. Yeah. Well, the black man is God. The black man is God, <laughs> yeah. which is truth in that, man. Yeah, that's right. You know, but we're not black, but it just proves yeah. Yeah. that but the, 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 the origins of our people, of all nations, were dark skinned people, man. Yeah, even in the ignorance, they have some kind of knowledge. Right? Yeah, Khan, uh, 32. Yeah, Khan, verse 32 says, uh, and in the seven days, the seven days, the priest shall look on the plague, yep. and behold, if the skull spread not, and there be in it no yellow hair, and the skull be not inside deeper than the skin, he shall be shaven, but the skull shall be not sh shall shall he not shave, yeah. and the priest shall shut up him that had the skull seven days more. Yeah, see, so say if you are uh, healed, say you, uh, you got your pigmentation and your color back, mm -hmm. uh, you will have to uh, shave your hair, not all fully like bald, bald, but you will shave your head and still have to quarantine for another seven mm -hmm. days just to make sure that, that that color or that leprosy, that plague doesn't come back, man. Mm -hmm. You want to continue on in that mm -hmm. or? Yeah, I mean, we we had the key point, right? Yeah, yeah. So having the yellow, yeah, yellow, yellow, yellow thin hair, hair, thin hair, and some, that's that's a that's a curse, man. But in in this lifetime, he saw push that as the as the standard of beauty, man. That's right. And that's exactly what we why we call it the devil, man, that's deceiver, right. man. Because you know, you know, you know, uh, you you know, you know, you know the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what it is. But in 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 your in your uh, fantasy to play to to uh. Play, uh, play, uh, play please your pride. Play your pride, or uh, to play Yahweh Shemeshai, you 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 take what Yahweh Shemeshai says as the symbol of beauty, and you flip the script, man. That's right. No? Hey, so that just proves right there, yellow thin hair is a plague, and he's un you're unclean with it, and it's called leprosy. Mm -hmm. Nowadays they will call it vigilago, but no, it's leprosy in the Bible, and it just shows the shame to our nation when you have. Uh, a, a lot of our women, again, trying to blonde their hair and bleach their skin to fit in with Esau, not knowing, ignorantly not knowing that mm. it's a curse and it's evil, it's blasphemy to the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. You know? Because ultimately, people want to follow weapons of power. Right, right now, Esau has the power, so everybody want to be like Esau. But in the kingdom, guess what? Everybody going to be like us, man. We going to have the power. We're going to be the one that people come... I wanna be look like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I wanna be look, look like uh, uh, Yahusha, King David, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, that's gonna be the standard of beauty, man. That's right. You know? I wanna get into numbers. I'll get it, then you can break it down. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another example. Uh, numbers 12, verse 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Egyptian woman. Ethiopian. Yeah, oh, the water. I'm gonna read that again. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mar uh, Numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman who he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Yeah, so that so the scenario is pretty much Miriam was picking against Moses, man. And which, Aaron, yeah. And Aaron, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Which which against the 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 law of Yahweh Hashem A woman shall not be able to uh, speak up against authority. a man. Oh, usurp authority over a man. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. You know? And they said, Have the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Have he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. 
Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and to Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of a cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron, Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is a faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. So pretty much, you see, by by her speaking against Moses, right? That was a sin. That's right. So the Lord, as 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 a reward, guess what? The Lord uh, gave a a, a a leprous skin, man. Yes, and it just proved, Miriam and Aaron were in cahoots. Mm -hmm. They were they were going after Moses because he married an Egyptian, Ethiopian, uh, Ethiopian woman. Mm -hmm. But it just proved a. The, the reason why only Miriam was was hit with the leprous and white as snow is because she was out of line. Out of she order. should she was out of order. She shouldn't be speaking up against a, a prophet of the Lord. Sure. And that just proves, you know, yeah, a, a man, Aaron and, and Moses, they can have a discourse or not, no agreements or disagreements. But the women should not be in that conversation. Yeah. That just proves that there's an order of this thing as well, man. Yeah, pretty much you have so, to know your place. Yeah, so 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 the Lord pretty much hit her with that sin. We read it. It was this. They say lay not the sin upon us because the Lord hit her with that plague, man, for yeah. speaking out of line, man. Yeah, yeah, for because she doesn't know her place, man, because she was trying to tell Moses what to do. And yep. yeah, how about Shemesha? Pretty much be like, no, who are you? You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. a woman. You're not supposed to uh, speak against my prophet. Come. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord uh, pretty much uh, uh, gave her a, 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 a leprous, 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 uh, 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 leprosy. Leprosy. Come. I'm gonna continue reading because it kind of links up to the law. Mm -hmm. uh, Numbers 12 and 12. Let her not be as one dead, mm -hmm. of whom the flesh is half consumed. When he cometh out of his mother's womb. See, they said, let not her be dead. Mm -hmm. She's She got the leprous, she's white as snow. She mm -hmm. got the yellow thin hair, you can imagine. Yeah. She's considered to them as dead, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, and also, too, the Edomites, they are known as the people of the Lord's curse, man. They, right. they know as the the, the death, death, you know what I'm saying? Hell yes. and death follow wherever they go, man. And that's, that's right. exactly what they are. And their spirit, they pretty much, they have to do wickedness man because because uh, your 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 physical counterpart your physical uh 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 your physical look pretty much uh uh, uh dictate what's going on inside of you man your spirit you know what i'm saying that's right no and verse 13 and moses cried unto the lord saying heal her now O yahweh i beseech thee so now moses is begging mm -hmm. even though you know, that's his sister you know and they were speaking out against him yeah. but he's praying to the lord begging hey heal her yeah. so this is not a beautiful thing yeah. being blonde yeah. being white as snow yeah. Yeah. he's playing it's, it's a sin and he's playing please heal her you know she's yeah. they're looking at her as she's dead you yeah. know a zombie <laughs> yeah miriam there wasn't wasn't like oh i'm with, I'm with it i want to be i want to be leprous yeah. you know, i want to be white as snow and i'm saying no she was she was she was ashamed man that's right and it's gonna get into that and the lord sent it to moses if her father had but spit in her face should she not be ashamed seven days mm -hmm. let her be shut out from the camp seven days and after that they so like and after that let her be received in again yeah because the lord was ultimately he wanted to make an example out of her man yeah because like if the lord because if the lord did that to her guess what the other people they would take nothing man. they're like that's right i don't, I don't want to be like 
I don't want to black Miriam, so I better listen. You I better, better listen. Uh, uh, know my, my place. You know, stay so? quiet. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people j journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And that goes back to the law, where it says when the priest will 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 pronounce that per him or her unclean, mm -hmm. you gotta wait seven days, mm -hmm. and then the priest will look upon and see if that plague has been removed, then shave the head. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go into detail that you know she had to shave her head, but it just proves that they had to still wait seven days, yeah. completion, quarantine, quarantine, to 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 remove yeah. that uncleansiness from her man that's right, that's right. so when you see this video you know and it's saying that um curse be curse be be born with black skin hey that's off man there's many scriptures uh i believe in uh in jeremiah in lamentations you know we're black unto the ground yeah yeah you know it, it hey our lord and savior yeah. being a so-called black man and and, and it, it will be uh 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 Crazy for our, uh for for Yahweh to come up with these law statute commandments mm -hmm. of how that's a curse and then send his son to look like a damn leper, mm -hmm. you know, a damn white man. So mm -hmm. we just know that you devils are, are are being exposed, man. You can't you can't hide from from yourself, man. You be you know you be your, your skirts being revealed, man. It's, uh, Songs of Solomon one in five. One in five. One in five. Come. Songs of Solomon one verse five. I am black, black but comely, O ye daughter of Jerusalem. That's right. As the tent of Kedar, as, as the, the curtain. curtain of Solomon. Yeah, I am black. And we mm -hmm. know that's this dark, dark brown, but calmly. Mm -hmm. You go into that meaning of calmly, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, Jake on a low level, we always say, hey, black is beautiful, which mm -hmm. is, which it is. Our, our melanin skin, whether dark, different shades of brown, is beautiful, man. Yeah. You know? And when you go to the word black, a shakar, which means dark skin dark skin yeah yeah see so see so this is this is solomon right mm -hmm. uh, yeah yes this is solomon he's 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 dark and beautiful man That's right. And ye daughters of jerusalem man so the israelites the the are are, are dark skinned people man mm. And that's why when you go to uh, Genesis 25th we don't have to get it but when when uh Jacob and Esau were born you know it it, it described that Esau was uh was red all over all over like a hairy garment it kind of it gave that description of Esau because at that time it was different from the norm yeah the normal was dark skin yeah. brown black hair yeah. you know brown eyes yeah. you know everybody had pigmentation back pigmentation then. yeah but Esau was abnormal so by obviously they, they they pointed out how Esau looked to to pretty much let you know that he was different that's you know right saying? uh Jeremiah 14 verse 2 bear with me yeah you can read it uh, Jeremiah 14 verse 2 Judah Monif yep. In the gates that are languished They are black to the ground And the crowd of Jerusalem is gone up yeah. You know Judah Monif right mm -hmm. the, the Jews are in Monif right We we have oppressors waiting over us man We are uh, in slavery We are we are in hell man You know In the gates that are languished Meaning our, our leadership The people that were set up Before the shift man They pretty much was in cahoots of Esau man To mm -hmm. show us man Yes sir It says they are black to the ground So we are different shade of brown man from dark brown to light brown, you know what I'm saying? And that's black like what it is. We're not black, you know what I'm saying? The scripture pretty much say black so that you 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 can decipher it, you know? Or when you go to the word black mean uh, 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 dark, dark skin, skin. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's exactly like what it is, man. But these devils in their pride, in the in the in the arrogance, they they put uh uh, uh having a uh, 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 blonde blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, uh, as the script not not to cut you off, bro, uh, but it says in jo uh, Job nine and twenty four you know the earth been given to the hand of the wicked right. he covereth the faces of the judges thereof mm -hmm. you know meaning in his examples you know he 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 removed the images you know mm -hmm. according to uh was it first Ma uh, maccabees right. 3 and 48 exactly you know he used uh, a mm -hmm. conoclasm yeah. painting over the the faces of dark skinned men of prophets and even our lord and painted them white you mm -hmm. know he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Mm -hmm. So he put himself as the 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 uh the most high, the, the Lord and Savior, the prophets, the holy apostles, you know. He put himself as the holy children. So definitely he's gonna have to be received with the plague uh that was written in uh in in, in, in this whole book. And yeah. as of Revelations uh what, twenty two, he that adds on to the book, you know, should be is gonna receive the plagues of yeah. the Lord, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, and pretty much that's how you know who's in power, man. When you're in power, you want everybody else to protect you, man. That's right. And that's exactly what Esau has done, man. You know what I'm saying? He pretty much paid over 
or savior Yahweh Shai, which is blasphemy, you're gonna receive a, 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 a payback for this shit, man. That's, That's right. madness, man. You yeah. paint the, the angels as a, as a little children, you know, or a, a, a woman around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no, he saw the devil, man. He's a wicked deceiver, yeah, yeah. man. This, what you're seeing on this image right now is the true depiction of the devil, man. Yeah. It ain't no uh, beast with all red and horns. You know, waiting with a pitchfork for your soul. The true devil actually is here on earth, man, yeah. and is the so-called white race. Yeah. And it's not all white people, because again, you yeah, know, people. there's there are people. There's our our, our our seed has been mingled amongst all nations, so we look like every different nation. But those that go back to the line of Esau, Edom, they are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Yeah. The devil, your the devil's your next door, next door neighbor, man. That's right. You know what I'm He's the one on your car, uh, on your um cash. He's at the faces of your cash. <laughs> He's yeah. the one that's you know giving you your food. Yeah. You know, giving you your gas, your resources, all that, man. The devil, you know, he he lives amongst us, and he's a man, man. That's right. And he's the so-called white man, man. Matter of fact, I have to up real quick on uh, uh, Second Ezra six, verse uh verse twenty seven verse twenty seven. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. That's right. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall overcome. That's right. And the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Say it again. It's evil shall be put out. For evil shall be put out. Yeah. And deceit shall be quenched. And deceit shall be quenched. And it's being quenched by this water, which is this truth. Which is through the the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know. And we come in to get rid of. The strongholds that's been that's been uh been putting a lock on all our people spiritually and mentally, man. Yeah. And you know, and hey, Esau can't hide himself. And this is why you know, he, this is why he has to come down with great wrath and come with deception, because hey, his his lies is now being exposed, man, through come the on. prophets of the Lord. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Habakkuk two verse fourteen. Yeah. For the earth shall be filled. With the knowledge of the of the glory of Yahweh Bashimashai as the water cover the sea. So pretty much like you said, the what's quenched the fire is a, is a, is a you know what I'm saying uh, 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 this truth is water like water mm -hmm. is quenching the 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 this the deceit of Esau, man. That's right. The deception, his lies, man, his wickedness. Verse 28, as for faith it shall flourish, mm -hmm. corruption shall overcome. That's right. And the truth we shall be so long without fruit shall be declared. That's man. beautiful. Faith shall flourish, man. So any uh, Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American that may, Lord willing, come across this video and you may think, hey, you have doubts or you think yourself that, oh, you wish you were lighter or you want to bleach your skin or you want to blonde your hair or, or have contacts in your eyes. Hey, man, this, this, this video is for you not to discourage, man, yourself. And, and pretty much to lift yourself up and realize that, hey, our Lord and Savior is a so-called black man. Uh, in the Bible, black is beautiful. Right. So-called black is beautiful, man. Right. You know? And Esau, Edom is is the devil. They're <laughs> the devil. ugly. Yes. They're, uh, they're cursed. The wicked. They're the wicked, man. Yeah. And soon, that that decep deception is going to be quenched through this through the truth, man. Yeah, it's, it's been quenching right now, man. That's right. Now the truth's coming out who the devil is, man. That's right. No. So, man, with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. Hey, this video is hilarious, man, just to see that Esau is on the ropes, man. Yeah. He comes with these bullshit-ass fucking, um, excuse my language, he comes yeah. with these, with this, uh, with these uh, clips or whatever this little he swears yeah. his his truth, but hey man, it ca yeah. it can't stand against the truth in the Bible, yeah. man. He saw on desperation mode, man. That's right. He's bringing out everything he can to pretty much to have the the mind frame, the psychological mind from the people, man. but he's losing it, man. That's right. It's Why? Over. Because because the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is on the earth, man. That right. was finished. He threw, man. It's through, man. So with that, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem, El Shabbat Hashem, Kadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth and peace and salutations to Akim uh, the Bayaf that would die that's the house of David the elect until next time we want to say Adawan Ratazah which means Lord willing Shalom, Shalom.